I'm your neighborhood reporter, Darius Udris, Fox 47 News in Jackson on East Michigan Avenue at the scene of last night's armed robbery. Jackson police say this is the person who held up the American One Credit Union on East Michigan Avenue Wednesday evening. He handed tellers a note to turn over money. He showed them a handgun in his waistband, then fled the bank on foot with an undisclosed amount of cash. Neighbors I spoke with are surprised. They tell me, to a person, that the incident is not typical of the neighborhood. Joe Matthews, owner of nearby Virginia Coney Island, says his staff was closing up at the time. Nobody reported anything out of the ordinary. The incident hasn't phased him. I've been the owner for eight years, and I think our police in Jackson do a fine job of policing and monitoring things. So, I, you know, it's, as far as I'm concerned, we feel pretty good. Uh, this area here is really safe. Denton's bar sits across the street from the credit union. He says yesterday's robbery is unusual for the neighborhood, chalking it up to its location. I think it's because we're right on Michigan Ave, and the police, you know, are around a lot uh, in this area. This is the fourth Jackson Bank to be robbed in the past six months. Last fall, it was the American One Credit Union on West North Street, along with two Flagstar banks on Brown Street and West Michigan, respectively. I reached out to Jackson's Director of Police and Fire Services, Elmer Hitt, who says he does not believe this to be a trend, pointing out that last fall's three incidents were determined to have involved the same suspect, who is currently in jail. Police are still looking for the suspect in yesterday's robbery. They ask anyone who can provide information to contact Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. Reporting from Jackson, I'm Darius Udris, Fox 47 News.